Hi, welcome again to Hope Dealing. We're in Psalm 130. Again, we're focusing on hope. Uh, we read last week from verse 1. Out of the depths I've cried to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. We shared very simply that even in the worst parts of life, whether it be the traps of the enemy or whether it be our own foolishness, God still uh, hears us. God still inclines his ear to deliver us. This helps it again, verse three and four. If you, Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. What's interesting is that this psalm agrees that, that or rather shows that it's their fault. When he's talking about a pit and falling in the pit, he then says that you forgive iniquities. That if you kept a record, who would be able to stand? That means that there's something this psalmist has done that has resulted in the place that he is. A lot of us, when we fall into hard times, we do a lot of blaming everybody else. Sometimes we just need to come back to, it's me, it's my fault. It's what I've done. And you don't have to, you don't have to play that game with God because God knows what we do. God knows that we either sin by word, thought, or deed, or, or we sin uh, by omissions, not doing the good we know to do, and that results in us being in low places. Sometimes our depression is made by our own mistakes, but God is a God of forgiveness, and God is a God of mercy, which is why God will not leave us in the low places of life that somewhere God will deliver us. And that's the source of our hope. Tune in next week. We'll dig a little bit more into Psalm 130. God bless you.